All right, folks. Had not to do a little digging up here on this uh, rock boundary line, property line. Some buckets over there. I'm headed right up this way though. We'll eventually get down this far, but for now I'm still up this way. If I get anything good, I'll uh, get you back up on. There's where I was working the other day. Stuff there, stuff there. Move a bunch of rocks and see what we can find. I'll get you back up if I... You can see the purple coming out in that one. The other one's just a nice turquoise aqua blue color. Cool. Alright. I'm going to have a rest. I'll get back at you if I find anything interesting. Sorry about the lighting here, folks. There we go. I thought this was a cold cream jar, but it's a milk white one. This is White Moors Bon Ton Shoe Cream. First time I found one of those. Nothing on the bottom. I'll keep it. On to the next. Hey everyone, seems like uh, I'm done digging at this site. Little info, the cellar hole's right up there, and it's a big one. And I'm over here, about 75 feet, along this uh, uh, property line of uh, rocks. And I just uh, scraped up an area probably 50 feet long this way, and about 20 feet deep that way over top of the rocks so that's uh that's what i was working at here all kinds of nice broken shards if i could find a place like this with uh, the bottles all intact that'd be a happy fella <laughs> anyways i'll let you go for now and see you on the wrap-up
Good day folks. I'm back with a recap. I got this stuff all cleaned up from the hunt. Some of this stuff most of you have probably seen before. But I'll go over it anyways in case uh, for those who haven't seen it or are new to the channel. This is a Watterson's St. Stephen, New Brunswick local uh, drugstore bottle. I've dug up a few uh, different designed ones from Watterson's. This was Fred Watterson. And he established his business in the mid 1880s. And this bottle here is likely from the 1890s. It's a tool tip. This one here, probably all familiar with that one. It's quite common. Charles H. Fletcher Castoria. It was a laxative bottle. And uh, it was established around the 1890s. Originally, it was known as uh, Dr. S. Pitcher's Castoria, but when his patent ran out in 1888, Charles H. Fletcher took over. This is a Henry Jonas and Company bottle, established 1870, Montreal. And this is a food flavoring extract and possibly it was lemon flavor seemed to be popular in this area found a shell casing this is what's uh, on the bottom of the thing i have no idea what those numbers mean if anybody knows feel free to comment and then on the opposite side of the property i found this scott's emulsion Cod liver oil bottle. It's got the guy with the fish on it. It cleaned up nice. It's a screw top. It's probably from the 30s. Still a nice find. Got this uh, manganese glass slick strap side bottle. 1890s, early 1900s. Another slick amber bottle. Really a medicine of some sort, I imagine. Another medicine bottle down here, graduated. <clears throat> Kept these three tops. Don't generally find green ones like this, so that was a nice find. I'll put those in the collection. <clears throat> a couple more pieces here. It's an interesting shard. Looks good. This here was from a miner's liniment. I hadn't, that was the first time I'd seen one with magnum, manganese glass. So I kept that shard. This here is the top from a crown mason jar. Got three stoppers. This is a Bonton shoe polish. And probably from the early 1900s because it is machine made. And finally we got these shards here. I kept because some people are asking about shards, so that's a nice one there. I don't know too much about them. This one's got some gold gild on it, but I'm always willing to learn a little bit. So, that's everything, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video and the roundup. Thanks for watching. Good luck, happy hunting. We'll catch you all on the next one. Over and out.